Hello, welcome to All About Anne's Art. My name is Anne Laidler. Today I'm going to paint poppy heads in pen and wash. So first of all I'm going to start drawing with a black pen. I've got a waterproof pen here, a number 8. And I'm just going to start drawing the heads, their round shape. And at the top they've got a, a frilly bit. And then there's lots of little holes around the top. And a couple of lines for this stalk. We've got a smaller one here. Nice frilly bit on the top. And the square holes. Stalk. And then another one up here. Make that a bit bigger. some squares along. Now these squares are they look quite black when you see them so I'm just going to draw them in with the uh, pen. So that's the uh, going to be the blackest thing on my paper today. So I'm not actually going to use black paint so just draw them in with a pen. Draw the stalks in. When we put some paint on I'll come back and do some more work with the pen. I'm going to mix up some paints. I've got some raw sienna on its own and I'm going to then mix some burnt sienna with some ultramarine blue to make a brownish grey colour. A bit more burnt sienna needed there. Sort of a browny colour. And then I'm going to mix another one in the middle but make it bluer. So I want a dark one, dark colour as well as a, a brownish colour. So I'm going to start off by using the raw sienna on its own and painting onto the seed head and down the stalk. Not painting all over, I'm painting very roughly. That's the beauty of doing the pen and wash. You don't have to paint inside the lines. As long as it's roughly where you want the paint to go. In fact, the, the rougher it is, the better it looks at the end. It doesn't look quite so contrived. Like you've drawn the lines and then tried to paint inside them. So this is the dark, just the brownish colour going on. So there we are, all up, all over. Put some there as well. And then on the big one, got quite a big area of raw sienna, so we'll cover that, quite a lot of that up with the brown. And I just want to take some water out of that brush and pick up some of the darker colour. If I hadn't have dried the brush there, I would have been transferring a whole brush full of water into my paint and there's already enough water on the paper without adding more water to it. There we go. Now what we need to do is do some background. So again I'm going to mix some raw sienna on its own and some Burnt Sienna and blue for a background, but I'm going to make it a little bit browner than the brown I used on the seed heads. So first of all I'm going to put the raw Sienna down, I'm going to paint it all on this side. Quite rough and ready. Now when I get to the poppy heads. I'll get to paint right up to them. And the paint may bleed 
uh, into the background, but that doesn't matter. I'm quite happy for that to happen. As I said, the, the freer you make this type of picture, the better they look. So now I'm going to start mixing some of the dark colour in. Blend that down the sides. The brush I'm using today is a sable brush. And the beauty of using the sable brushes is that they hold a lot more water than the synthetic brushes. So you can put quite a bit more paint and pigment down in one go. I've added a bit of bit more blue to this paint now. So I've darkened it. So as I've gone across the picture, it's gone from light through to dark. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, because the raw sienna has almost disappeared out of the poppy heads, I'm just going to go in with some stronger paint. Less water. Just dab some of that in. Otherwise the poppy heads are going to be all grey. And they're in the hedgerows, they're quite distinctively sort of a, a raw sienna -y, browny colour. So that's what we want to see. Now I can see, unfortunately, that my colour is now bleeding out into my background, which I don't necessarily want too much to happen. So I'm just going to try and solve that by putting a bit more pigment down. That's because this paper is very wet where I've been adding more water. Right, so... I think at this stage I'll leave it to dry, so I'll just put my brush down, leave it to dry for a few minutes and then when it when we come back I will put some more pen work on the paper. Now as you can see the paint is now dried and I've ended up with a few cauliflower marks, but not much paint on the actual poppy heads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the pen first, um, put a few more lines on and then I'm going to put some more paint on. So to start with I'm going to give these a bit more definition and shape. And they've got funny bits just underneath the poppy head, just there. So give these a bit more definition. Already they're looking a bit rounder and a bit, bit more like a, a seed head. Give them, say, give them a bit of shape. I'm going to do some a few leaf shapes as well. Just to add a bit of interest into the picture. Go over some of the cauliflowers to just detract your eye from them. So I think all I need to do now is just a bit more colour on the actual heads just to define them a bit more and then we'll be finished. So I'll go back to the paint bit more raw sienna say so a bit less water this time put a bit of colour back into the top now you can see the beauty of using the waterproof pen is that it's not running even though I'm adding water onto it you can buy water soluble pens but you get a completely different effect 
because when you put the water on, they bleed and blur all over the place. Right, so I've got some dark blue colour here now. I just want to put that dark blue on the opposite side to the raw sienna, just to make them look round. There we go. And I think that is about it. And that's the end. That's dried poppy heads in pen and wash. Thank you.